Back to infants, is there a marked difference, just speaking in general terms, between an infant that, that did not receive colostrum and one that did when they were first born, L later in life or as they develop? Well, look at it this way. If, if you're a, an, a baby that's just been born and never got colostrum, the signal's not been made that you have been you have to develop your own immune system, if you look at it in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that there has been cases in third world countries that kids haven't got colostrum and really are immune compromised and are sick all the time. You know, um, It's just recommended, CDC says it, doctors say it, everybody in the world says it, look, you gotta heal the gut. And for a baby, that's, there's no difference. You've got to take your mother's colostrum. At least try to get the, you know, some colostrum from the mother and, and the baby as soon as possible. It's really important. Um, so, but in terms of, um, if you typically, if a baby does not get the colostrum from the mother, it will not thrive. And we see that in the third world countries. So, it's, it's, you look at, look at things basically. You know, you, colostrum was made for you, right? Mm -hmm. You should take it, you know. Um, and, and I think the message is as well, not only is healing the gut, but understand what the immune system is and how important it is for us as we go through our lives. I mean, look at this example. Half, I don't want to be morbid, but when we die, look how fast our bodies decay because we no longer have an immune system. That's how important our immune system is, to keep us protected. And if we don't look after our immune system, we're going to be sick. We're going to have symptoms. We're going to be on medications. So, and, and those cause other issues as well. Not only increased gut permeability uh, from these medications, which we then have to try to see, heal, but just step back and just take a natural approach. So look, colostrum's been around for so long. It's not something that's been around. It's not the new thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's newly. It's being newly discovered. You know. Um, back 50 years ago, people used to take colostrum because there wasn't the medications that were available like there are now. But it's, it's kind of coming back to the circle, full circle again, and people are realizing, in fact, medical doctors are realizing that it's so important to heal the gut. And that is a common message now um, because we are noticing there's so many more people suffering from autoimmune diseases and food allergies. People have no option anymore. They have, they're sick all the time and they, they don't know why. Their doctors don't even know why. Well, because you are allowing foods, undigested foods, bacteria, etc., to go into the body because our immune, our, our gut of our, the gut of the small intestine is, is like the skin. It's a barrier. It's the first layer of our immune defense. And, and if we don't have, you know, if you have um, scars on your skin, you're allowing bacteria to enter the, into your body. Same in the gut. You've got to heal the gut surface. Mm -hmm. Allow micromolecules to go, to get absorbed in the specific areas that they allow in the villi and keep out the bacteria and the, the larger food molecules. So the key is, and I just keep harping on it, heal the gut, you know. Mm. And I sound like a broken record, but it's that simple. Do that, and you're going to eliminate a lot of your mm. health issues.